Cette fois, on a une vidéo de... De, 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 de l'ami de, de Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson. Il a déjà C'est quoi le nom de la vidéo How I fix my terrible sleep. Ouais. Ok, comment j'ai, j'ai résolu mes problèmes de sommeil. Oh. 10 habitudes. Hi friends, today I'm going to share with you 10 things that are going to change your life. I had poor sleep my entire life and I just logged what is potentially the best sleep score in human history. Eight months of perfect sleep. Sleep is the most important thing a human does on a daily basis. I'm going to share with you what I did to achieve that perfect sleep score. They do not require $2 million a year, and I'm going to give them to you for free today. All right, what I've done to make this easy for you is I've listed out the 10 levels and seven days of the week. So tape this on the bathroom mirror or in your bedroom and put a star by each day you accomplish a task. When you achieve level 10, send me a note and tell me you've become a professional sleeper. Now I know that sleep doesn't solve <laughs> all things, but it helps me feel well enough and full of energy that I want to do everything else that's good for me. All right, number one is identify as a professional sleeper. Currently, grind culture is the dominant way of understanding sleep, which is you don't need a lot of it, and you're actually weak if you get it. Money never sleeps, pal. That's foolish. Don't do that. The wise thing to do is to make sleep your number one priority. You will feel better. Ça, c'est un truc, tu vois. Ça, mec. Tu vois, ça. Non, mais ça, non, mais ça, ça, il y a tellement de gens qui le disent là. Genre, c'est pas un truc de mec et tout, machin. Mais tu te flingues tellement. C'est ok, une fois de temps en temps, vas-y. Genre, la vie, c'est stressant. Tu peux pas toujours avoir ton sommeil. Non, mais. C'est la chose saine à faire. Le, le sommeil, c'est la base de tout. C'est la base de tout. Écoute, ok, genre. Non, c'est putain. Mais non, mais. Non, mais c'est putain. C'est vrai, t'as des, t'as des mecs qui disent ça, je veux. Je... Mais c'est pas... Non, non, mais... Mais... Attends, attends, si on rapproche le virilisme mmh. euh, au sommeil, c'est n'importe quoi. Ouais. Parce que si tu te dis parce que tu dors... Ah non, mais c'est des conneries. Elle te rend compte. C'est des conneries, mec. c'est n'importe quoi. C'est nul, des Il faut ça. dormir, c'est trop bien. Tu lui prends sur les muscles, tu... c'est génial. C'est tellement productif. Tu kiffes. Il y a plein de cultures où on fait la sieste, tu vois. T'es... Enfin, c'est important. En Chine, ils font la sieste, c'est de ouf. Tout le temps, mais... Enfin, tout le temps, non, mais... Euh... Si, t'as raison, tout le temps. Et après le déj. Genre, après c'est déj. toute la boîte qui fait la... La sieste, tu vois, c'est un truc de ouf, hein. Mais franchement, non, c'est, c'est trop bien, moi je kiffe c'est ça. Bien, c'est bien, c'est bien. You will look better and everything in life will be easier. Level two is to have a consistent bedtime. This is really important because you're telling your body, we do sleep at this time every day. So you can make adjustments in your life. Have dinner earlier, plan earlier, put it on your schedule. Think of this as your most important meeting of the day. When you show up to work on time or have meetings with your friends, if you're even five minutes late, you apologize. Don't disappoint yourself and show up on time. In my family, when bedtime arrives, Talmadge and I will stop whatever we're doing and run to our bedtimes. We do this tongue in cheek. It's funny because we're saying to each other, we respect bedtime in this family. We know we're going to be better family members with each other if we get our sleep. For my bedtime, I've chosen 8.30. I love the morning time, especially the the four hours of time I have all by myself. No one's calling me, no one's messaging me. I have it all to myself. So I really like to go to bed at 8.30 Then I have the morning wide open. That said, you do you. If you're a night owl and you prefer to go to bed later, that's okay. Just choose your bedtime and be consistent. Level three is have a wind down routine. I know from personal experience that when I go to bed and I'm thinking about the day's problems or some opportunity, anything that's on my mind, if my head hits a pillow all night long, I'll just think about it. So what I do now is sleep Brian enters the equation 30 to 60 minutes before bedtime. And if an incoming thought says, oh, you should be worried about this or you should think about that, Sleep Brian says, thank you for suggestion. Sleep mode is now engaged. So I would encourage you, create a ritual, read a book, go for a walk, do some favorite hobby, but avoid screens and avoid anything that's going to get you aroused. Don't have fights, don't tackle hard problems, get ready for bed. All right, level four is to eat early. I know this because I tried hundreds of experiments with food types and eating times, and I found that I slept the best with blueprint food and my last meal of the day at 11 a.m. Now that may sound early to you, it is, but I got used to it. Now, this does not mean that you need to eat at 11 a.m. as well. What this means is it's an invitation for you to try to explore eating earlier and also trying to avoid 
big heavy meals at the end of the day that could really be having a negative effect on your sleep. When I go out for social events, I will eat something. Sometimes I try to find a light food like steamed vegetables or something like that because having a plate in front of me with food makes everyone feel comfortable. If I don't have it, then everyone's like, why are you not eating? And it's a whole thing. So I really try to blend in to avoid creating chaos in social situations. All right, level five is hopefully an obvious one. You want to avoid stimulants or anything that's going to disrupt your sleep. That includes alcohol and caffeine. I know personally if I drink- Gens qui disent que le café, ça vous fait rien et que vous dormez. Vous pouvez dormir, mais vous vous reposez pas pour la fin du débat. Any alcohol in the latter part of the day, my deep sleep is going to be about 80% less. It just decimates my sleep. So I now have no alcohol. Then of course, caffeine. We metabolize caffeine at different speeds, but. C'est une mauvaise habitude. C'est pas parce que t'es habitué et que tu t'endors que tu te reposes. Ton corps se repose pas forcément. Il y a des mécanismes qui vont pas pouvoir se passer correctement s'il y a de la caféine dans ton corps. Même si t'es habitué, c'est pas bon. C'est pas bon. C'est pas fait pour. Après, continuer à vous détruire, nous donner des conseils, c'est tout. C'est vrai. On est gentil. Ouais, on n'a pas, pas un diplôme de médecine. Hein, non, mais c'est euh, logique, putain. Vous vous appliquez les gros <rire> Allez pas porter plainte. Hein. <laughs> uh, I've stopped all caffeine as well. It really has helped me improve my sleep. So just for you to consider that these things may potentially be degrading your value, your quality of sleep and to be mindful of what you consume and when you consume it. Level six is regulate light in the evening. So a few things for you to keep in mind is I have an app on my computer, a Flux, F-L-U-X. It eliminates blue light from the... Attends, 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 mais on l'a ici, là, et où C'est Windows, ça. Tada Qui c'est qui l'a installé, ça, Mohamed C'est moi. Sur conseil. Ah, des mythos, sur conseil de... On est bien, on est bien. Ah, voilà. Putain, mais ah, on peut pas faire une phrase de 10 secondes à cette vidéo. Bah non, mais... Ne laisse pas parler jusqu'au bout. Mais oui, mais parce que tu fais une phrase... Bien sûr que je vais rendre à César ce qui est à César. Hein c'est Pierre. Tu fais, tu fais une phrase de... Tu vois j ai, j ai... Au lieu de dire oui, tu dis... Oui. Euh... Screen. Uh, two is if I'm watching a movie with friends, I'll put on a pair of blue light blocking glasses. Sorbet. Do you want a bite? I'm on a diet, but thank you. My room is entirely blacked out with curtains, and if I'm traveling, I will wear a mask. And so you're trying to avoid uh, light that is going to otherwise disrupt your sleep and just be mindful. Probably the most important thing here is just try to eliminate screens in that downtime before bed. Level seven is to maintain an ideal temperature for your sleep. Now I think Goldilocks got this right. Not too hot, not too cold. You, of course, we can say specific numbers, but everyone's different. And so more important is, you know, either it being too hot or too cold is going to create suboptimal sleep. And there's also considerations with a partner and other members in the family. So just be mindful that you don't want to be in either one of the extremes. So for my own personal temperature control, I use an eight sleep mattress. And during my deep sleep, it's down to 71 Fahrenheit. And then during my REM, it's up to 73. Uh, Consider changing your thermostat for aircon settings, experimenting with different types of bedding and opening doors for increased airflow. Level eight is creating a peaceful, sleep environment for you, for your family, for your children. Now I have three kids. If I could travel back in time, I would sit everyone down and say, we are a sleep family. And here are the rules of how we do sleep. We go to bed on time. We never get up at night. We never wake anyone up unless we feel like our life is being threatened. You're doing them a favor and you're setting them up with good habits that will endure throughout their life. But also other things, one of my neighbors has barking dogs. So I called her and she was more than willing to say, I understand your bedtime is at 8.30, so after 8.30, I will make sure they're in there, in the home, in their kettles, very considerate. So you can do things with neighbors, with partners, with friends. Don't feel shy in asking. Oftentimes it makes a better environment for everybody. Now, one more thing to mention is for my sleep environment, I do nothing in my bedroom except for sleep. I don't read in there, I don't watch movies, I don't hang out. 
is for sleep because I'm telling my body when you get into this position, your objective is sleep. And if you're doing things all day, then your body can get confused. So it's really important to have a dedicated sleep environment. It will improve the quality of your sleep. And there's one more thing which may be a little bit controversial is if you can sleep alone, you may want to consider it. My wife said, no, not here, Buck. It's pretty hard to synchronize the sleep routines and preferences of two people. And there can be a lot of weight vents between the two. So. So, if it's a possibility and you can have that conversation, you may want to strongly consider sleeping independently because it may yield higher quality sleep for both of you. Level nine is light. The first thing I do in the morning, I wake up around 5, 5.30, naturally every day, is I turn on 10,000 lux and I do that for a few minutes. It tells my body, you're awake, the day's beginning. It helps with mood, it helps with energy. And again, it tells the body, we get up at this time and now we're up. It's so important to tell your body exactly when to go to bed and when to wake up. Si Berman, il en parlait, c'est de regarder s'il fait jour, comme dans le ciel. Le mieux, c'est aller dehors. Ouais, si tu peux pas, mais le mieux, c'est regarder le ciel. Comme les gens, ouais. Avec la lumière et tout. C'est marrant, c'est-à-dire qu'on devrait se lever selon le temps. Ouais, après, bon. Ça, je suis d'accord. Je pense que c'est pas si facile pour tout le monde, mais. Ah non, Mais moi, je le fais, du coup, la première chose que je fais, c'est que j'ouvre mes rideaux, j'ouvre un peu la fenêtre et je regarde. 30 secondes, je fais pas trop, je fais pas 10 minutes comme ça. Dans 10 minutes devant une lumière, euh, vas-y. Je l'ai fait quand j'étais étudiant, on avait acheté ouais, des trucs comme ça avec un pote. Alors, alors La, la, la luminothérapie, une, une grosse dalle lumineuse. Ça va on se mettait devant comme des, des bananes. <rire> ouais, c'est ma... marrant, mais après, tu sens pas forcément un bénéfice de fou, tu vois. Il faudrait, il faudrait le suivre de façon scientifique. Parce que t'as tellement d'autres facteurs qui peuvent affecter ouais, ouais. comment ta journée se passe. Que tu sais pas au final si ça aide ou pas. Donc il faut le suivre scientifiquement, ce genre de, de choses. Lui, il le fait, donc j'imagine que. Lui, il a les moyens de le faire. Surtout. Ça a forcément un intérêt. Mais. Enfin, il faut être réaliste. Qui va se mettre 10 minutes devant une lumière tous les jours Je pas qu'à me réveiller à la lumière du jour. C'est. Ok, enfin. Je sais pas, qu'est-ce que. Si on parle en termes de pourcentage de productivité. Je pense que ça pas trop de Sur, sur, sur 100%, qu'est-ce qu que ça t'apporterait 0,2% Ouais, encore. Est-ce que c'est -ce qu quelque est -ce que chose de comme... minutes bien, bien dépensé, tu vois Non, 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 je pense que tu perds du temps de vie. Bon, je... Ça, c'est mon avis. Après, peut-être euh, ouais. que, peut que lui, vu il toute a dit sa routine... Minutes, hein, ça, hein. 10 minutes, mais vu, ouais, tout, vu toute sa routine, là... Tu une sais, minute, c'est faisable. 10, non, ouais. mais vu toutes ses routines, depuis la Kilab, je pense que dans son, ses gros, sa grosse routine, c'est super. Lui. Mais euh, quelqu'un de lambda qui fait que ça... Ouais, ouais, ouais. Ça, ouais. Tu, tu, tu l'aides toi-même, deux bananes, non, non c'est pas que je l'ai fait. Ouais, ouais. C'est ça 
Uh, you start having these compounded benefits as you repeat these behaviors continually. I think that's why in large part, I was able to achieve an eight month perfect sleep score is I was able to tune my body so well that I knew exactly what to expect every single day. Now, if you don't wake up at five or 5.30 or you have a preference to go outside, please do so. The sunlight is great. I too enjoy the sunlight. I typically try to avoid the times of day between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. when the UV index is high, but the morning and the night are great times to get sunlight exposure. Level 10 is gathering data. Now I would have put this at number one, but it does cost money and I've been mindful of trying to put everything that's free ahead of it. But data has been the most important thing I've done. It's helped me create intuitions and knowledge about what improves my sleep and what worsens it. My main tool for tracking sleep is my Whoop Band, which tracks how much sleep I got each night, the quality of that sleep, and how much I exerted myself each day. Just to put this in context, imagine you're training for a one mile race. You couldn't do it without a stopwatch. You couldn't just guess how fast you're running. Even though you can approximate your, your speed, you don't know if you're improving or not. So that's 10 things for you to become a professional sleeper. You can do this. Get into the habits and make them non-negotiable. If your favorite show drops and your bedtime, don't watch it, go to bed. You're telling your body we have a routine and we're going to be consistent on that routine. And you may find that so many of your other problems in life are going to resolve themselves when you're getting routine, high quality sleep. So when you go through the levels and you master them, send me a note and tell me you've achieved mastery. It will change your life, I promise.